Are you there, Quinn? Can you hear us? I'm here. <laughs> Ron, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing I great, Ken, Ken. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. I think Ken Quinn's having a little bit of technical difficulties today. There he is. I am fine. I am absolutely fine. Gentlemen, how are you today? Well, I am doing well. In fact, I'm doing better than well. How are you doing, Ron? Hey, I'm hanging in there. It's going to be over 100 degrees in Arizona today. Well, it's a beautiful uh, uh, six. It's a well. It's about seventy degrees in Hilton Head today, so I'm enjoying that. That is that is just terrific weather. Welcome everybody, Quinn. Quinn, you want to say hi? <laughs> Quinn. Hey everybody. Quinn, Hope you're doing well. I'm in Maine. Weather's beautiful today. I had a nice long uh, eight mile run this morning, so I'm feeling really energized. Uh, uh, that is really, really good. I'll tell you, we've got a lot to cover. Um, we've got a lot of things happening. The United States is slowly but surely starting to open up. My name is Ken Clark. I'm the regional director for the Southern States. And I cover everything from, wow, Texas, Louisiana, all the way up to West Virginia, Virginia, and everything in between. And I'm very excited. I just got word today that we have a hearing next week in Louisiana. And so it should be on Wednesday around 1 p.m. But the Louisiana legislature is working business as usual with, of course, safety guidelines and all that. And I'm going to be traveling to Louisiana. I'll be going to Baton Rouge um, uh, next week. And I'll be testifying in that hearing on Wednesday. It'll be at 1 p.m. Central Time. And you should be able to find the live stream for the hearing itself. And I feel really good about what we've got going on in Louisiana. We've got some great sponsors. We've got a terrific lineup of co-sponsors and pledge signers in that state. And we really do have a whole lot of momentum going in. And so I am really tickled. If you are from Louisiana, reach out to me and I will uh, get you in touch and give you all the details. I'll put my, my email address uh, in the comments. Um, it's just kclark, C-L-A-R-K, at termlimits.com. And reach out to me. I'll get you in touch and let you know what you can do to help. But I am really excited that everything is starting to loosen up and we're going back to the way the United States is supposed to be, where people are free and can go about their lives. So that's what we're working on. Let's get it done in Louisiana, brother. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. I just, I probably didn't find out about it 13. 30 or 40 minutes ago. So awesome. That's I am just is. tickled. My name is Ken Quinn. I'm a regional director up in the North region from Maine out to Mad uh, well, Madison, Wisconsin. That covers it. <laughs> it's about 17 states. And I want to thank everybody for your support. If you are not familiar with what we've been working on, for those of you that are new to uh, this broadcast, we are seeking to have the states um, – propose a term limits amendment on Congress using Article 5 of the U.S. Constitution. So we need 34 state legislatures to pass our what's called an application. Well, it's a resolution through the House and the Senate. And we need you to help. And we're going to be covering um, how you can get involved using Facebook to help us get candidates to sign our pledge today. So I'm kind of excited about that. When I posted this, I gave it a, a heat rating of three flames. I don't know if you guys saw that. But uh, we're going to be turning up the heat uh, during this election season because now, as you all know, candidates want your vote, but they work for you. So it's time we start interviewing them and making sure that they are going to support something that you want. 82% of Americans want this. And so we'll get into that uh, later on, but uh, we've got to get this done. So thank you for joining. Ron? Yeah, lots of things happening on the West. We have uh, near-term opportunities in Idaho and Utah. Those are those primaries are coming up. We're on a heavy pledge push in those two states right now as we speak. We're looking uh, for a Senate, a state Senate and state House sponsor. We think we got that pretty close to locking up. So we'll uh, need some help there. And boy, our grassroots is really growing in Idaho and Utah. I have to say that we took a look and we're growing by 15 to 20% a month. So this is obviously a very popular subject. People are starting to join and sign the petition. So lots of things happening there. And then follow that up uh, with um, uh, Arizona right behind that. 
uh, also later on this summer in California and Washington. So that's what we have to play. Awesome. That's that's what we got going. We've got a lot to do. So, um, Quinn, you've got a specific topic that you wanted to cover today, right? I did, but uh, before we get to that, I think Ron has some very important information to share with everybody. We have a winner. <laughs> we do. Yeah, we have what? a winner. For, okay, explain what the winner, winner for what? Did, for what? <laughs> well, well, in fact, uh, Quinn, since this was your brainchild, why don't you explain exactly what the challenge was? Okay, so I don't. If you were with us last week, we uh, had a call to action where. We were asking people to uh, go to our website and um, send in a email to their legislator um, to sign the pledge. And so we had a, a little, I guess, contest uh, drawing for everyone that took action on that day uh, through the website, because we can track all that. Uh, we, we, your name would go into a drawing to win this lovely U.S. term limits. I'm going to call it a golf hat because that would look nice on the golf course, don't you think? Yeah. And so yeah. um, we appreciate everybody that participated. And thank you very much. If you received any kind of response from your state senator, representative, delegates, please let us know. Um, the reason we're doing this is that we need to find out where they stand on term limits and specifically on our resolution. So Ron, with that, why don't you share the name of our, of our winner and uh, throw their name up there? Absolutely. It is our winner of the hat is from Florida. Who is it? Who is it? William? Sances, spelled S-A-N-C-E-S. -E and we have his email, and he is from Florida. Did you uh, put it in the comments yet? Uh, not yet, but I will. Yeah, put it in the comments, and I'll uh, pull that right up. And if uh, everybody out there, let us know what state you're in. Let's have like a little, a little roundhouse roll call of the states. And I'm going to uh, – I'm kind of – working behind the scenes here. I can pull those up, but once I get into my presentation, I'm probably going <laughs> to kind of slack on some of the messaging because I want to have the full screen up while I'm showing what we're talking about today. Right. But And before you do that, I, there was something I wanted to mention because we get asked this all the time and invariably every time we do one of these live broadcasts. Let me guess. Let me guess. Well, it's twofold this time. Twofold. Okay. Good. Twofold. The first one is that put this on the ballot. That's the one you were going to guess, right? Yes. Yeah, we can't do that. They, there were a lot of states that had done something similar, and I think it was up to 21 states that had, in fact, put term limits on their congressional delegation. And back in the 95, a uh, congressman named Thornton sued us. And they, we lost. The United States Supreme Court, Thornton versus USTL, U.S. term limits, that's us, decided that the only way that you can term limit our Congress is by constitutional amendment. So that's what we're doing. And invariably, every time we do one of these broadcasts, somebody says, well, what can you do? What can you do? What can we do? All talk, no action, that kind of thing. Well, next week in Louisiana, we've got a hearing in the Louisiana State House of Representatives on our resolution calling for a convention to propose a term limit amendment on Congress. That's what we're doing. We're doing this nationwide. And that is how we are going to get term limits on Congress. This is what we're doing. I'll be flying out on Tuesday and I'll be testifying on Wednesday um, if I if needed. I'll be there just in case I'm needed. And then I'll come home on Thursday. But this has been several years in the making. I mean, this isn't something that just happens overnight. We don't just find a sponsor, file a resolution, and then boom, we go to a hearing. It doesn't happen that way. We have to approach and talk to every single member of the state house, the state senate. We have to get grassroots involved. We have There is so much that it takes to get a resolution passed in a, in a state house or a state senate chamber. You have no idea. You've got to go through committee hearings. Then you have to have full floor votes. Both chambers have to pass the exact same resolution. Then you have to get other states to pass the exact same resolution until you get to that magic number 34. And at that point, then you get a convention. At the convention, they propose the amendment. Once that happens, it goes out to the states for ratification. 
It's all in Article 5 of your Constitution. You can read about it there. We've got boatloads of documentation on how this actually works. But this is progress. This is how this is going to happen. You want to help? Call your legislator. You want to help? Get them to sign our pledge. Get your friends and family involved. That's how we do this. And the fruit of the vine is going to be next week in this hearing. Ken, why don't you talk about the pledges? Because that's what we're going to be sharing today. And you know, you're working with the team and you know, let everybody know what uh, the team has been up to. We have a team of individuals that all they do is they call candidates in a whole bunch of different states. We're working dozens of states right now. Um, well, a dozen states at least. I think, I th yeah, I think it's close to a dozen states. And we're calling candidates. We're calling incumbent members of your state house and your state senate. And we're asking them to sign a pledge that says, I will support an Article 5 resolution in my state to impose term limits on Congress. It's a very simple pledge. But we've got an entire team of people making those phone calls right now. It is much more powerful and means so much more to a candidate and especially an incumbent state assemblyman or woman when a constituent calls them. So if you call your own senator, your own state representative and say, hey, I want you to sign this term limits pledge, they're going to listen. They are going to listen. And whether they sign it or not, they're going to know you called. When you get your friends and families, your neighbors to make that same phone call, they will listen. And that is so much more powerful. But that's what we're talking about when I say pledge signers. <clears throat> it's a simple document. And all it says is we support term limits on Congress. And I will co-sponsor and support and defend that resolution when it gets to my state House or my state Senate. All right, Ron, anything you want to share in, before I jump into this presentation? No, I'm just responding to uh, lots of uh, chat. So uh, we've right, let me, all I made a typo, so I'm going to, uh, <laughs> I'm doing too much here. Okay, there we go. All so, right, well, so this is going to be fun, guys. Okay, so right now we've got the team uh, making calls with these candidates, sending emails like last week, the call to action. Emails were sent to legislators, right? But we all know oftentimes the legislators are not getting these emails. They'll go to the staffer and we want to really turn up the heat. And what I thought would be really fun is let's take this out to the public on their, on their campaign page on Facebook. And so all of you are on Facebook right now. You know how to use it. Let's take advantage of the technology and let me start off by, I'm going to hide uh, you guys. I'm going to be removing everybody out of the screen here and pulling up my uh, video, not my video, my screen. All right. So this is what we are asking everyone to do. This will be fun. And I'm hoping that you'll take, uh, you'll participate in this. And guys, uh, if you have any questions, just stop me. Um, if I forget something or you have a thought you want to share, please do, okay? Because I'm just going to go through this and then we can um, share ideas and how to best um, engage people to do this. So we have set up a, a call to action under this Take Action uh, tab. It's called Get Pledges on Facebook. And what I like about this is you are going on to their campaign page and posting a question, just a simple question. And, you know, this is a really important time of year. These folks are running, you know, they're running um, a campaign, the elections. We have primaries coming up. Some have already passed, but some are coming up next month. I think Maine's in July. And then we have the general in November. So now is the time to strike. And they know that they are trying to please as many voters as possible. And so we want to put the pressure on them. And I'll tell you where I am at this point. Now, I'm not asking any of, any of you to do this, but this was an idea. This was a statement Scott Murphy made. He wrote the book, Term Limits, The Term Limits Re Revolution. It's on our uh, Facebook. It's on our uh, website. And basically, he says, listen, we should not vote for anyone who does not sign this pledge. If they're not going to support term limits for Congress, they do not get my vote. Well, 
that's the stand I'm taking now. If somebody is in my district and they will not sign this pledge, they did not earn my vote. If they're not willing to represent 82% of the American people to help solve our nation's problems, then I don't trust them. So period. I'm not asking you to take that stand. I personally have, and um, I'm going to do my best to stick to that. So let me show you how this works. So I'm going to zoom in. So you guys, can you, can you see this at all guys a little bit? I can it's, see it, but it's pretty blurry, Ken. All right. How does is this go. better? All right. Yeah, that's really good right there. Okay. So I'm going to have to zoom in. So the first step is this. Um, you need to put in your address. I found this website. It's really good. Um, now this is kind of interesting. It's not, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got to click on that. Click on that link, find your legislators. Okay. I was looking at the page. I forgot to click on that. So it brings you to this page and I'm going to uh, type in Actually, it's just, this works with just a zip code, but make sure it's your address, okay? And you see a little map here because you might, if you just did a street address, it's pretty good without your city or your state, but you just want to make sure you're in the right state. So we are going to take a look at this district in Iowa. Iowa, Iowa is one of my states. We're working on getting pledges. So the first thing you want to do is click on this link to look up your legislators and you need to do that to find the district number so you have the upper and lower so the upper is senate and the lower is house if you notice this step two highlights that so write down your upper district number and your lower district number okay and then what i want you to do is go to your state elections so you're going to click on this link it's going to take you to ballotpedia and once it loads i'm going to zoom it in a little bit so you can see it better and hopefully you don't lose the screen there okay so we are going to go to iowa And just let it load, and then there we go. Now the states start to come into the picture. Scroll down to your state. And I am going to select Iowa, the House of Representatives, my first one. We, You definitely want to go to the Senate as well, but we're going to go to Iowa. And that district number was three. And here it comes. Okay. So... Let's find, now this is a great page because what this is showing us here is all the candidates running for office. Now notice you have primary candidates, come on, and uh, general candidates. So right now the primary has not taken place in Iowa. That's why it's, it's on this page here. And if you notice the races, let me uh, zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see it better. Okay, so here is District 3, and what's, what I want to do is kind of go over what, the, what this means here. So in District 1, we only have an incumbent, so, you know, that guy's a shoe-in. Now, the I stands for incumbent. That means that's the current legislator, so this is the current representative in this district. Same with District 2. Notice in dist District 3, now, there's no Democrats running, but there's three Republicans, so this is an open seat. The this is the highest priority because these folks really want to win and they know it's going to get it's going to be tight. And so they're looking for every vote they can find. And so this would definitely be a high priority. Um, if you have, let's see, like here, District 11, you've got two people running in a primary here against an incumbent. And so if you are willing to work your entire state, that would be great. But what's really important is if you definitely want to go to your your, your district because you are this representative's um, constituent. So we're going to click on Lynn Evans here. And this is going to take you to his profile page in Ballotpedia. And where you go, this is really easy to find. Can you guys see all that okay? Yeah, I can see it pretty well. All right. So all you have to do, now most of the candidates will have a campaign Facebook page, and it's right here to the right of the screen. Okay, That's kind of so, hard to find. There it is. That's our, 
Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. yeah. Um, some, some of them may not have a Facebook. Some might just have a website. And so you'll see links underneath the contacts. So I would recommend going to the campaign Facebook because that's where their constituents are going to be. That's, that's where, you know, their statements are uh, going to be their posts. So let's click on that. And now I visited uh, Lynn's website, uh, his Facebook last night and I did this and it was kind of fun. And let me show you, I'm going to zoom it in a little bit. So you can see now one thing I would definitely recommend, and I, I don't want to forget this before you do this, try to find some friends in your district, your wife, you know, somebody that lives in your district and let them know what you're going to do and then send them to the legislators Facebook page so that they can chime in on your comments. And I think that's a great way of creating and, and starting a discussion on term limits for Congress. So what I did, I just quickly scanned his Facebook page and oftentimes they'll tell you um, where they stand on issues. So I took a look at his uh, folder here, his little palm card, you know, he claims to be a conservative, um, you know, a lot of good stuff here. So I was looking for anything about term limits because sometimes they'll put term limits on their campaign literature, but I didn't see anything here. So what I did, I found a post. Um, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit lower. Let's see. Give me one second. There it is. So I went down to this post. And, you know, if you can find a post that maybe can link term limits or federal, you know, you know, issues at the federal level, that might be a great uh, place to, to post your comment. Try to find one that has a lot of comments on it because everyone that's commented on that post will see what you post, I believe. So what I did last night was I went on here and I just reached out to him. And let me see, I'm going to open this discussion up so you can see how I responded. So all I did was I went and typed one sentence, well, two sentences, I guess. I said, hey, Lynn, uh, hi, Lynn, do you support ending the power of the incumbent party in Congress with a term limits amendment for Congress? An overwhelming 82% of Americans want term limits for Congress, and as a state legislator, you will be voting on this issue. And I said that because we actually have a resolution in Iowa. And so his response was, he got back really quickly. He said, Ken, uh, I support term limits for federal and state congressional seats. Um, what would you suggest as length of terms? And so I responded to him and I thanked him. And then what I did was I put here, we would greatly appreciate your support for this resolution by signing our candidate pledge. And I posted the link to the pledge. That's a PDF that he can read, print out and sign. Now, I haven't heard back from him yet. Uh, I called him this morning and left a message. So I'm hoping that he will get back to me today. But this is what we want you to do. And what I provided on the call to action. So I'm going now down to step number. So we covered most of this already. Step number seven. There we are. Okay. All I did now you can come up with your own thing, but just feel free to copy this one sentence and post that one sentence on uh, the page. That's all I did. And then below is the second part. Just uh, thank them for supporting term limits for Congress and the, the link to the pledge. You know, I would, I, I don't think I would start out of the gate with that, uh, with the pledge. I would try to ask a question. They, they love answering questions right now. And so let's go back now and let's do this live how's that sound guys you want to do it live yeah let's do it let's walk through one of these all right, right. so let's visit mark McHugh. i think i'm pronouncing that right we're going to go to his facebook page so let me go and grab the um i'm just going to copy this right here show you how simple this is and copy that <clears throat> we're waiting for mark's page to pull up okay let me zoom that in. Okay, it's zoomed in. Okay, so I'm going to go down to, there we go. We got uh, campaign website, Facebook. I, I'm not a Twitter guy, so I don't, I got to learn Twitter, but here we go. Campaign Facebook. Let's go there. Now, I don't think you'd want to tag your friends <laughs> in the comment. I think that might be a little over, 
uh, powering on the first uh, <laughs> first meeting. But, you know, maybe if a conversation begins, you can say, hey, uh, especially if they come back saying they support terms, then tag somebody in that di in your same district. Say, hey, to your friend, hey, Joe, guess what? Candidate so-and-so likes terms for Congress. You know, that would get a little buzz going. So let's go. Uh, let me grab. Uh, let me just grab anything here just to show you all. Uh, I'm looking for something that might have some comments. Let's see. Give me one second. Here we go. Yeah. Vote. Perfect. Um, yeah, let's just grab that one. So I'm just going to go into that comment right there. Oh, definitely what you need to do, you probably, some of these you have to uh, follow uh, first. So make sure you might have to uh, like the page in order to make a comment. So I'm just going to paste that right there. There it is. Okay, that's the question that I just copied. I just pasted. Now I'm going to hit enter. And boom. Now, if I, since I'm not his constituent, what I would do is I would probably add to the beginning of that sentence, I am a constitu uh, constituent of yours, and then ask the question. And, you know, I'm a constituent. I have a question. Do you believe in term loans for Congress? Do you support that? Something like that. You know, use your own words, whatever's comfortable for you. And then, you know, hopefully um, this gentleman will respond to me and I'll come back uh, with the with the pledge. If he supports term limits, if he doesn't support term limits, well, then I'm going to try to weed out why and try to answer those questions and provide him information so that he will uh, consider the, the issue and maybe we can turn him to be a supporter. So that's it. And just to show you, let me go back now to the really important thing is the last step here is we're trying to make this as seamless as possible instead of them sending it to you and then you forwarding it. What I, what I would recommend is just let them know at this point, you might want to uh, send if they agree to signing the pledge, you know, really thank them for doing that. You know, we cannot endorse candidates, but you know, they're basically endorsing this effort. Have them send that pledge directly to me and um, I will follow up with them, make sure we have a picture with it, a quote, and then we'll get that into our digital team. And just, I wanna show you in case you don't know what we do with this information, if you're not following on our state pages, we do press releases. So if you go under news, under pledge press releases, you can see all of the pledges we've been been getting. So every day this thing's getting, these are the press releases that go out. So here is West Virginia, New Hampshire, Pennsylvania, Missouri. Look at this. And so what I would do is also just copy this uh, link right here and share that with them. Show them, hey, this is what they do with these pledges. So that's going to encourage them to want to sign. And what, I would, what I've been doing is I go to the website. If you go under the search bar, just pull up your state. Like, for instance, I am going to just type in Iowa. And then if Mark responds to me, I'm just going to send him a link to everyone that has signed the pledge in Iowa so he can see, oh, wow. <laughs> there's candidates signing. I better step up and get get on this. And so um, that's it. That's how simple it is, guys. What do you think? I love it. I absolutely love it. And it, it is not difficult. It's very easy. And that uh, call to action that Quinn put together is step by step by step by step. I mean, it, it's very easy to do. So please don't be intimidated by it because it may look complicated. It's not. It's very simple. And we need everybody to do it because I'll tell you what, when I call a representative in a different state, maybe they'll listen to me, maybe they won't. But if you call your own legislator, that's huge. That is so huge. And it makes all the difference in the world. And this is simple to do. It takes 15 or 20 minutes. You'll get good at it. Uh, you'll be able to interact with this and it's non-threatening. You know, I think lots of people are looking for ways to interact. Facebook is great because they really do pay a lot of attention to it. It really pops up. You're able to tag other people that are interested in the same subject matter. So it's a wonderful tool for what we're doing. Yeah, it's terrific. And Ken, you explain that very well. Nice job. Nice job. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, so we could really use your help. If, if you are out there and you feel frustrated, um, listen, folks, 
we understand um, the frustrations. We're all there with you. We get it. Um, we are working on something that's never been accomplished before. If we pull this off, if we get the states to meet, to pass something that the majority, the super majority of Americans want, this is a game changer, not only for our future, but our grandchildren's future and the nation. We okay. will change right. the game and we need, this has got to come from the bottom up guys. We can't do it ourselves. It's got to come from you in your state and get your neighbors, get your friends, hit these Listen, go through that, that whole state. If, if you are what we call a social media savvy person, listen, hit all the candidates, work for us, be a volunteer and, sh and get a team of people. You know what would work great? I was just thinking about get three or four people to do this as a team and you kind of coordinate and you hit candidate after candidate and you, you get your friends to chime in and add comments and that will start snowballing. We really need your help on this. We are never going to match the dark money invested in defeating this and really maintaining the status quo where they own your politicians. And so this, we really do need your help. We could, you know, for being so popular, it just takes a few people to make a difference. And sometimes we get messages say, hey, what can I do for one hour a day? This yeah. is perfect. I mean, one hour a week even. This is perfect. And so we really appreciate your help. You know what I forgot? Let me... um. Let me go back to, I just want to show folks our website one more time real quickly. But if you are looking for some, uh, oh no, ah, hold on guys. All right. Did I fix it? There we go. Yeah, that looks good. All right. Let me, if you go up to our website, let me just shrink this just a little bit. But feel free, you know, election season's coming. We could really use your help by having you buy our yard signs, you know, purchase some yard signs, put them out there. You know, we got to get the word out. So please visit our website and go to the store. Um, we've got apparel. We've got cups. We've got bumper stickers, magnets, yard signs. And we also, every week on Monday, check, uh, please uh, subscribe to the podcast that Nick and Phil do. That's up on our website as well. Um, let me back out of here. Yeah, I, got a podcast. Out, I got to call out our Washington State uh, director. He is a yard sign champion. Oh, yeah? I think, I think he's even on this. I've asked him to go out and take pictures. So I don't. he, he ordered probably 30 signs for me, so they're all over. Oh, that's and, great. Uh, yeah, we love it. Yeah, Get I, the word I, out. Get the stickers on your car. Everything. Let's grow this. We got to build an army. It's a term limits revolution army, and we've got to get this done. So we really appreciate everyone that's doing that. And if you, uh, before we uh, drop this, uh, the screen here, if you have done this on a candidate's page and you feel like they're going to send it in, please let me know. Send the email to kquinn at termlimits.com. So I'll, I'm on, uh, I'm looking out for it, and we want to recognize everyone that's participating in this call to action. So that would be uh, really helpful. All right. Well, guys, that's pretty much all I have for today. Is there anything else we want to cover before we say goodbye? No, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, please stay tuned for what's happening next week in Louisiana. This is very exciting. This hearing has been delayed for months because of all the madness out there. Uh, same thing has happened in a lot of other states, but uh, Louisiana is the first one to pick up the ball and start running. So I am really excited about this. Yeah, let me correct that. Dana, Dana George just sent me a note said that he's, he's at, he is on his 50th yard sign. Dana, you're the man. You're the man. That's Way to go, Dana. <laughs> and I, I uh, just became a, a member of a term limits group, and I felt bad because it happened just before we went live. And I posted the live. So if any of you are from that group, listen, I really appreciate it. Uh, we want to work together in any way that we can. So please help us uh, get this done. I quickly looked at your page. It's like, wow, these guys have been on this and we got to join forces. So thanks everybody. Um, this is, this has been fun. Yeah, this would be great. We'll be back next week. I probably won't be on the call next week. I'll be get traveling. It. Get I'll it be done. traveling to Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, baby. All right. Maybe we'll do a live stream from the hearing or something. That'd be kind of fun. Well, the, the hearing's on Wednesday, so. Well, you can report, you can tell us how it went. Yeah, if I can. Yeah, you bet. I might be able to do that. Who knows? Right. Maybe I can get home in time. <laughs> All right, everybody. I think we're done. Thanks a lot. Appreciate Thank it. You. Join the Terminus Revolution.
That's it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.